I, I feel a lot better now than I did a week ago because I think the kids, you know, uh, snapped out of their funk and, and are, are looking good and strong heading into the Drake relays. We got a lot of things going on at Drake this coming week. Uh, for starters, we got the multi events that go Wednesday and Thursday. We got three decathletes competing. Daniel Gores, who won last year, he'll be trying to defend his title. Ben Lindemann and our freshman Brandon Mortensen will be doing the second decathlon of his uh, career. Uh, and then on the women's side, we've got Paige Canoto, who had a terrific Drake relays last year. She'll be they're uh, taking on some of the best. I think she got two Olympians um, in her field, so she's got a tall order, but it'll be a fun competition for her. Individually, we have Jordan Williams in the discus, Adam McDonald in the javelin, Sebastian Barth in the high hurdles, Ryan Newtoff in the 400 hurdles, Derek Kramer in the 100 meters, Corey Zamluski and Daniel Gorse in the pole vault, Paige Canoldo in the 400 hurdles, and Paige also in the javelin. Uh, so Paige is gonna have a lot of things going on. Um, She'll also be part of that hurdle shuttle um, on Saturday morning. So, um, but she loves to compete, and this is what she did in high school, and she's, 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 she can handle it. Uh, as far as relays, we got a lot going on on the track. The women, we've got a four by 200 meter, four by four sprint medley, distance medley, four by 800, and a shuttle hurdle relay. The men have a four by 200, four by 400 sprint medley, distance medley, and hurdle shuttle. So we got a lot of representation. Kids are gonna be doing a lot of, of events. Uh, we, got, we feel we got a couple of those relays that are pretty strong. Um, and uh, I think, but you know, all of our representation will be, will be good and uh, they'll be busy, but I think that's what the Drake relays are all about. So we, the kids are gonna have their opportunity to do their individual events, almost every meet that we run. Um, but the Drake relays is so special, so unique. I, I want us to turn the focus back to what I think makes the meet so exciting. That's the relays. We have mostly Iowa kids on our team, and those kids know um, they know how to compete on that track. I mean, they, they, they lived for it when they were high school athletes, and you just see there's just it's something really special, and they're really at their best. So um, the importance is when they do well in front of all of those people, I think it, it, it really helps them focus on the rest of the season because it's really exciting there's a lot of emotion and it's almost like okay this is what it's about now we're in the championship mode and uh they just stay that way through the end of the season so i think uh i think the drake really has a great serves a great purpose uh, for the northern iowa athletes well it's it's a solid field you know they're always gonna be really good athletes at the drake relays but we looked at it and we like his chances you know i don't want to put any pressure on him to win it i don't have to he's from iowa and he's going to try to win his first drake relays title um, but he's got a great shot. I mean, the guy has been very consistent and he knows how to compete. Um, so, you know, on any given day, it only takes one throw. And all, you know, there's a number of throwers that are capable of having big throws. But, um, yeah, we feel, we feel excited about his opportunity to, to do well there. And um, he does have a shot to win it. Um, I feel good about Daniel's chances. He's got a solid field, but um, he, he's been looking better and better. And he knows how to compete at the Drake Relays. So, um, He's, uh, I think he's got a great shot to defend.